Okay. Now, let's go to the general case. And now you're going to have to do a little work. Okay. Is there anybody in the room who cannot see the validity of the algebraic expression at the top? A squared plus 2A minus 35 is A plus 7 times A minus 5. Everybody got that? Yes? No? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And now I claim that the functions minus 7 to the n and 5 to the n are solutions to the polynomial advancement operator equation a squared plus 2a minus 35 on f of n equals 0. So I want you to verify that. Take one of those functions, I'll say 5 to the n, and substitute it into that equation and verify that you get 0. Okay. If you know what you're doing, you, you just do it yourself. And if you're a little lost, we'll do it together up here. I think the equation was a squared plus 2a minus 35 on f equals 0. OK, now let's take the function f of n equals 5 to the n and verify that it's a solution. So apply a squared to 5 to the n. What do you get? 5 to the n plus 2. Now apply twice the function. Two times, uh, twice the advancement operator of the equation. So that's 2 times 5 to the n plus 1. Now, subtract 35 times 5 to the n. Okay. What is that? All right, 5 to the n plus 2 is 5 squared times 5 to the n. Agreed? So this first term is 25 times 5 to the n. 5 to the n plus 1 is 5 times 5 to the n. So this is plus 10 times 5 to the n. And this is minus 35 times 5 to the n. So this is 0 times 5 to the n, which is 0. So 5 to the n is a solution. A similar amount of work shows minus 7 to the n is a solution. Okay, so now let's go back to the main thing. All right, so the example is that minus 7 to the n and 5 to the n are solutions. And so the more general observation is that whenever you have a root of the advancement operator equation, then the root to the nth power is going to be a solution. And I should emphasize that because you have those two solutions, you have every linear combination of them. And that's because the solution space is a vector space. It's a subspace. And now you can see, if, if my general theorem is correct, what we've said is that if you take this operator equation, a squared plus 2a minus 35 on f of n is 0, the solution space is supposed to be a two-dimensional vector space because the degree of the polynomial is 2. And I have found two solutions, minus 7 to the n and 5 to the n, it will be clear momentarily that they are linearly independent. 
So any two linearly independent vectors in a vector space of degree 2 form a basis. So once you know that minus 7 to the n and 5 to the n are solutions, you know all solutions. All solutions are just the linear combinations that you can form of those two basis vectors. 